Hi students, what if I have a square root and I have an exponent inside that square root? That's fine. There's a, there's a very easy rule for this. And the rule is, if you see an exponent, cut the exponent in half. Now, this will work only if the exponent is even. If it's odd, we have to do something, you have to add an extra step. But if it's even, it's no problem because I can just cut the exponent in half. So instead of x to the 10th, now I can make it x to the 5th. And I'm done. That's pretty easy. But what if I have a situation to where I have an exponent that's not even and it's odd? Well, what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to create two square roots. One square root will have an even exponent and the next square root will have an odd exponent. Now, I really want to keep my exponent, my even exponent as high of a number as possible. So the highest even number I can think of without going over 17 would be to the 16th power. And I'll keep that in my first square root. And then just one variable p in my second square root. See, because I have 16 p's in my first square root, I have one p in my second square root, that means I have 17 p's total. So from here, now I can simplify each, I can simplify my first square root. I can cut that exponent in half from p to the 16th power to p to the 8th power. And the square root of p, well, I can't simplify that, so that's all I can do. And that's how you simplify square roots with exponents.